Hello lads, welcome back to the Swedish history series. I am checking in from a an Iron Age fortress. So this was in use during the four or five hundreds AD. So a bit earlier than the Viking Age. And uh, there is a little legend about this fortress that there lived a woman here who inherited a large fortune from her father and she had a lot of suitors who uh, perhaps they were out for the inheritance as well, who knows. But she spurned them all and uh, one day there came a raiding party and uh, sacked the castle. Might be some truth to it, even though it's a legend, I don't know. But uh, what I do know is if you look around you here, it's quite far from the coast. But during that time, during the Iron Age and Viking Age, the sea level was uh, much higher than it is today. So this was actually connected to the sea. And uh, the next location I will show in this video was also connected to the sea. So right now this is yeah out in the forest basically, but back in the day it was an important hub where uh, you could go out into Viking or uh, you could trade and stuff. So a lot more connected back then. So that is where I'm at, an Iron Age fortress. So uh, yeah, you can have a look around, come in sequence this place and then we'll move on to another place which you might be familiar with since I've taken a lot of pictures there. Sisters are watching, so make sure they are admiring what they see. So, you might recognize this epic runestone right here, and where I am at right now is just as the other place. It was connected to the sea back in the day, but now it's just a lake, a little, um, a little walk further in that direction. And uh, what was happening here, you ask? Yes, it was a ting. So a ting was basically a um, meeting place slash council, basically where men got together to decide on matters of law. So if someone had an errand, yeah, you took it up with the ting. So Arkils Tingsta is uh, what this place is called. And of course, since this is quite central and connected to the sea, it was a quite well visited ting and a lot of powerful men came here with their supporters to do lawfare against each other if um, some predicament had occurred. So that is basically what I wanted to show in this video. Just uh, showing some sights in the nice nature. On to the next site. Greetings and salutations. I am checking in with my good friend, Survived the Jive. That's right! That's right! <laughs> Phrase of power that we use here. So basically I will link his video as well. I have uh, recommended his channel for a long time. I will do so again. Very good content. So we are at a um, Bronze Age petroglyph. So I will show that now and uh, I don't know which video I will end up using this material in but I'm sure it's a great video anyway. So uh, yeah, have a look at this absolutely aesthetic thing. So I'm actually not 
quite sure how much of it you can see because of the light but it looks quite aesthetic from uh, from where I'm looking now at least so uh, yeah a lot of uh, epic finds here so I just thought to check in with uh, that XXO boo Det är det. 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 Det är det.